<laughs> I saw it running. I knew that fish was on. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, great. It's a beauty. I saw my line running, so that's how I knew I had that one. I got it right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Heading back to Pleasant this morning. It's Saturday. We've had a nice warm week. Not 80 degrees yet though, which is probably means the pre-spawn won't be ready yet. But I was there a couple days ago and we didn't catch any fish. I was only there a couple hours, but um, I saw a nice five plus that had moved up. The water was ultra clear like 30 to 50 foot visibility. Um, so I could see this really nice fish just sitting there waiting for us. But by the time I was walking up to the dock when I saw it. So by the time I got my boat over there, I couldn't find the fish. It must've moved back into the deep. At any rate, there are some big girls starting to come around. So, but the pre-spawn has not started yet at Pleasant. We'll see today. So we will see today what's going on. We're gonna fish for about three or four hours this morning. I got uh, my trusty partner, Brea, here. She's excited. Um, she knows what we're doing and she can't wait. She can't even sit still. It's driving her crazy. show you what I'm seeing on the graph so you know. All right, so this is what I'm seeing on the graph right here. So that's what I'm seeing. That's why I'm fishing here, because I know there's fish here. Hopefully we'll get bit here in a minute. Fish bite. 
All right, so quick update on this little Saturday trip. No fish. Um, the water's 54.6 and just haven't really seen anything on the graph besides the first spot we stopped. Um, any fish that I am seeing are down like 25, 30 feet like this. So I'm seeing fish really far down right right there. Those are actually stripers. They're not largemouth. Uh, you can tell this couple groups of stripers right here. So anyway, we're going to keep looking. Um, we'll see if we can find some. We're going to just go to a completely new area. We've been fishing here. We haven't done that great in here, honestly, except for way back at the mouth. And um, yeah, I'd really rather find some good fish somewhere, catch them consistently. So we're going to go somewhere else, see where we find. Got the wacky rig Cinco bass. Not a girl. Look at that. We finally got one in the boat. Yeah, All right, that's a nice fish, Brad. Look at that. Look at this, folks. We choked the wacky Cinco. Finally, first cast in this boat. use our new tool that we got for Christmas. So, the crazy shark. So help you get them out if they get deep. Just like that. Works like a champ. What do you think? Nice two pounder. We got a two pounder in the boat, folks. Finally, I was getting frustrated on the wacky Cinco. All right. Freya. Freya, should we let the fish go? You want to let it go? What do you think? Okay, here we go. Let it go, do something good for it. times. Uh, I really thought I was on the bottom to be honest. Right in the upper lip. Good tub. 
you're Woo! Yeah, look at that. All right, we'll weigh this one. Two for two. I think we're onto something here, Brad. Man, I got it banged into that lip too. It's not coming out. Woo, look at that fish. Man, I had that fish hooked good. He was not coming off. All right, I put a new battery in my scale. We're gonna weigh this. Well, it says 13 pounds. <laughs> I can't be right. Fail. What a nice fish, Brea. Man, look at this fish. It's a beauty. <laughs> Negative seven. I don't know what we got going on here, but my scale is. All right, last time I went to get this scale out, it wouldn't work. I'm getting a new scale. I think you need a tournament scale anyway. Fail. That's what this turn it, that's what this is doing for me. Fail. I got a fish here. So fat, so heavy. I have no idea how big it is. It's pissing me off. Let me see how long it is at least. All right, so it's about 19 inches. All right, Brad. What do you think about that fish? It's as big as you are. All right, let's let it go. Get it out of the water for a little bit longer than what I wanted. Straight to the bottom. Hmm. All right, so report. I got two out, of, two out of two casts on this wacky rig Cinco today in this new cove. I finally found some fish and they're just, they're slurping it up and sitting there. So I'm not even feeling them until I finally reel in but they're definitely not letting it go. So it's working good. We'll see if we can get some more. <laughs> Almost expected there to be a fish three in a row. That would have been awesome. Oh, we came off! We had another one! We just lost a fish! Well, that sucks. What did we do wrong? Yeah, so my setup for this Wacky Cinco is just a medium action rod. This is the Vengeance Abu Garcia medium action rod. Um, and then I've got just a Abu Garcia, um, this one's the, the Aura SX, it doesn't matter, but I really like Abu Garcia. They cast really well. They don't, are, they never backlash, hardly ever. And you can, you can use a bait caster with the weightless Cinco, um, which is my preference. Oh, this water is so clear, everybody. You gotta see it. I'll show you all how clear this water is. So, it says here we're in 29 feet of water. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how clear it is at Lake Pleasant. Okay, check this out. So, this is 28 feet deep. Now I'm gonna turn and go towards the shore over there. I'm gonna show you how clear this is. Tell you when I can start seeing the bottom. I can actually see the bottom myself. So we are in 24 feet of water and I can see the bottom. Okay, so now we're in 22 and I can see it really good. I don't see any fish, but 
So that's 20 feet deep right there. 18 feet right here. You can see. Let's try it on this side. See if you can see the bottom. We're still 15 feet deep and it looks like it's five feet deep. Pretty crazy. Some clear water. Makes it hard to catch fish, honestly, because if we can see 25, 28 feet down, those fish can probably see our lure from like 50 feet away. See the boat 50, 60 feet away in this clear water. I don't know, maybe more, but that's one of the things that makes it hard at Pleasant. You gotta fish really slow and very natural presentations when it's this clear. I saw it running. I knew that fish was on. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, great. It's a beauty. I saw my line running, so that's how I knew I had that one. Got it right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Two and a half, three pounder. Got it right there in the mouth. Barely hooked. Just had to switch colors, folks. Look at that fat. She's eating it. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to go home when you're doing this. Another pick. Hey, baby doll. Just got another one. It's hard to leave when they're these fatties are chowing me. That's number three, and I had a, another one that I missed. Uh, so anyway, we're having a good time. I'll try to get a couple more before I go. See ya. Smell the fish. Smell it. You like that? Not really. Look how big this is. Let's lay it on here. Oh, 16 inches. 16 inch fish. All right. Get a release. There you go. Take your time. We try to get another one. All right, well that's gonna wrap up this trip. Uh, we caught a two plus, I'd say a four plus, and then a three plus, all in the same area, all on the uh, Wacky Rigs Cinco. Uh, green pumpkin was the color. Um, two different varieties of green pumpkin, but I don't know if it mattered. Uh, they just wanted it to be natural. I had no weight, just let it free fall. Super patient. They were just eating it and sitting there. They weren't even running with it. Actually, the last fish, I saw my line start to move away from me, so I knew a fish had it, and I went ahead and set the hook. So uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. Could not get the drop shot going, could not get a jig, could not get. Texas rig, cannot get a square bill, cannot get Alabama rig, nothing. But uh, finally I got to a place where there were some fish. They're not in the backs of the coves yet, so I don't know, the pre-spawn's not quite here, but they're getting closer. Um, maybe those fish that I got today are starting to feel that. But they're just, if, if you're looking for them, I'd say turn the corner, they're gonna be just inside the edge of the, the cove if they're there. So, so that wraps it up for today. Heading back, good times. Got some really nice ones today. Just not quantity, but definitely quality. Which was, for me, I'll take that every day. 